So in this video, you're gonna be seeing some of the detail work that I haven't been able to show before in the first build. So hopefully that will help you who have really wanted to see that type of stuff. It's always hard for me to know what to leave in and what to leave out in my videos. And sometimes I just want to show you the end result without showing the process. And I have had comments with people who would like to see more of those processes happen in real time. So this will be more of a step-by-step -step. and some of the smaller design elements and things that I've been doing that you don't see sometimes and I couldn't do for the first build because I wasn't filming. So that is what I have tried to do here. And I want this channel to be helpful to those who like me are trying to do a conversion that isn't a full on build, but is livable in a space that you can manage. So that is what this is gonna be all about. So I hope you enjoy. So now I am going to take this out and I'm pretty much thinking I'm gonna put it back in, but I wanted to look behind here again and maybe put some sound deadening from what's left over and just see what space is there because I really didn't look the first time. And to do this, you can take a fork or I just have a little putty knife and carefully lift them out. They usually just snap and come out. That's why a fork sometimes is better because it'll keep it from snapping off completely. The first two came there. Okay, so it just does that. This is what they look like. They do have them at hardware stores. If you happen to break one, so don't worry too much about that. I know the first time I did it, I was panicked that I wouldn't be able to replace them if I broke them, but they do, they have them in all shapes and sizes, but specifically to replace ones that you might break in the process of doing this. There we go. So, and then this is all I did. I just glued the fabric onto this little piece of plywood that they had. But <laughs> I think I was worried about <clears throat> the wiring back here and interfering with anything here. But I think now I'm just gonna stick a few sound deadening things on there. So I'll just do this. Here's my little roller. And as a sound deadener, you don't need to have it lining every little inch of it. It just needs to be enough to deaden the sound. No real precision or anything is needed here. Oops, except to maybe cut that correctly. Let's see, this is what happens when you're talking and trying to do this at the same time. much of this left over to play with so that's what gave me this idea that I thought I'd just check it all out and put it in here where I can. It'll serve a little bit for insulation, not too much because obviously it's not sealed all the way, but specifically for sound deadening and that, it'll do great. And my van is not that noisy, actually. There are the, the noises that comes from just things rattling from the shelves and things inside my 
shelves. So, and the vehicle itself, it's pretty good. Okay, that is all I'm gonna do on that side. I had to plug my phone in because I'm using it as a camera, but I thought I'd show you. This is the extra padding for the carpeting and I glued it on the back of this. So maybe it will also act as a little bit of insulation. Who knows? I mean, can't hurt, but thought I would just do that and show you so that you can see. I'm going to do it to both sides now Have the other side to do yet. I just wanted to show this side. It's a little different and it did have this piece of plastic in there. So, and this is a little differently shaped. I'm just doing the same thing and I'll put some sound deadening here and I'll probably just keep this and seal it with that plastic. Don't know. It's there, so I may as well use it. And of course, I forgot to film this, but I'm putting on these little racks. So I thought I'd get the last one in here. This is hard to do, but you just gotta go for it. I wanted you to see here that in order to put the balsa wood in, you just slide it in. There we go. And it goes in. And just sometimes it takes a little bit of jimmying back and forth to go like this. And this one can go down a little bit maybe. But that is how we do that. These are just ikea spice shelves this is more just oil that has that spilled i i had some castor oil that was there and just over time the wear and tear so i just got some new ones because i like them so much and it's very easy to assemble it gives you everything that you need right in this little pack yeah you start by putting these this into here easy fit quite snugly which is good okay right here in the center hole which is the bigger hole and these go in here and then these go into these four spots right here and they are a weird shape so they give you the little tool to do it. I have this for reference because this is the perfect width to make the second half of it so I have to cut this off. It's quite satisfying, quite easy to do. I love Ikea and especially for a simple build it's the way to go because it's made for small spaces and they're they're pretty inexpensive and mainly well made to be a little bit durable. Some of the things that I've gotten I had in my SUV too, so they've lasted for over three years. So for being cheap or inexpensive, I should say, because they're, they're actually pretty well made, light wood, so light in color, but light as in not so heavy and durable. So, and if things go wrong, you just get another set and it's six bucks or something like that, 12 bucks for the pair. So I just cut this piece to the right size, sanded it down. This is the end that is going to be attached here. And then this will be here. And then just glue it together. Good enough. And I'm going to go ahead and use this same thing that was on the other side over here. The bad thing is that the two sides are slightly different and this 
middle hole doesn't line up. This is center. And one thing I want to show you, and don't worry, this will look nice. I just took the balsa wood out from on top of it, which is purely cosmetic like this. But this is a metal plate. And so I'm going to try to tap into that with this so that it will keep as soon as I can get that middle hole, it will stabilize everything and then I'll drill whatever else needs to be drilled. So this, so you see, I put some reflectix back there, some extra wood just to keep the balsa wood from going in. And that's how that looks underneath. Not pretty, but after it's all said and done, it's pretty. out because once it goes down all the way it's actually resting on this down here so it makes it more solid but I'll get it out and show you what it is it's just a little weird piece of metal I got it in so I should be able to get it out there so this is what this looks like so now I'll find the center, which is here. And then this was down to this mark. So the hole will be right here. And I can pre-drill that hole. So I think you can see ever so slightly, this is the hole that I need to go. And these, I'll figure out some way to hide it. I'm not too worried about that. But that hole is the one that I need to go through. And sorry about the angles and everything, but it, I'm trying to move the camera as little possible so I can get some work done. It's really hard to film and do this at the same time. But I went ahead and drilled a hole as big as this screw that fits into this hole. So this fits in here. And I'm putting two washers in it because I noticed when I put it here and once I have it even with this wood piece, there's still a little give. So I want to make sure that it's flush. Maybe too much, but we'll see. All right. Hmm. Maybe I can't do that. Not. Should be able to do this. Just close it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then slide it down. Get in there. Why is that not going? Oh, I know. All right. So I do have to screw it in a little bit more because I think it's getting caught up on. Yeah, it can't go in more <laughs> until I screw it in more. So. This will go nice and easy, because I can only do little rotations at a time, obviously. Wow, this is going to be hard. All right, I know what I got to do. I got to take this bar off. Hold on a second. All right, so. Here we go. I always stick these in my pockets. So I don't lose it. I saw a, an Instagram post the other day that said, we will never know how many people still say in their heads, lefty loosey, righty tidy. And I do it all the time. So now let's get this off. Uh oh, I might have glued it. Plan B, plan C, D, E, F. Is it really? Oh, there, okay. Oh, 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 oh. There's my little friend. Okay. So now I will be able to do this. Huh, much easier. Just 
Still not knowing why that doesn't go in. Ah, there, okay. Oh, that's why, because it was on the wrong one. So there we are, we're actually now on it. Man, see how tight this is already and I haven't even all the way screwed it in. So this is now in place where it should be. And hopefully it just goes back there more as I do this. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There. And so it hit the side of the end probably, but this all helps it from it's a it's a flat screw so it's not going to go through and it this baby is tight on there now so and i like it just because it hides all this without having to do anything with this Yay. and i'll just put these back on and if you really want to see it I don't know sometimes what to show you guys some of you say that you like to see the step-by-step -step. I feel like it's boring but I do want you to have enough information because that is why I'm doing it I want you to see the process and there it is so this these are really easy always but there you have it and then I'll have to do something aesthetically I mean even maybe wood filler for that and then this is the little piece of balsa wood that goes right there so I will just go ahead and uh, glue that back on whoa that's odd uh, I don't even think this needs to be on there to tell the truth but I don't know why oh I know why I had it so that it the glue would stick better uh, so this yeah this will just go back on there to make it aesthetically pleasing uh, I am just having this. This is a magnet, <laughs> so it's sticking and holding that in place while it dries. I just realized that I never had to deal with this because this used to be behind the cabinet and it holds the wires for the speaker that used to be hung up here. And I just close those off and I don't use them. I have a Bluetooth, so I just use that speaker uh, for my car. Old school, doesn't have any bells or whistles anyway. The, the stereo would probably be really bad. So I think I will go ahead and put some sound deadening here. Maybe, yeah, it'll help insulate this a little bit. I don't want to put the silver here just aesthetically, unless maybe I do it and put some fabric there. Hmm, maybe. So I got the sound deadening piece that will probably fit back there. This stuff is pretty cool. Alright, now I'm just going to zoom that in. Gotta get the little handy dandy roller. <laughs> Bumping my head. So hopefully you can see this well enough. It's tight spaces, but that's what it looks like. So I did decide to go ahead and cover up this hole as well with that. And then I'm just taking that carpet mat and I'll put this on here with some spray adhesive. And again, this will just be covered anyway, but it might prove to give some warmth and insulation. And I'll just have it go back to the corner here and be done. So I did not find spray adhesive, so I'm just gonna glue this. I just am going to put this same stuff and put it this way over this. 
and I'm going to put it the fuzzy side that way so that it doesn't keep getting fuzzy. I'm not going to, I'm going to put it on here, I think. Maybe I'll get some, I don't know, do they have fabric tape? I don't know. That would be good to put on the edge around there. Um, but yeah, I think everything is coming together. I'm starting to put some stuff out. Got the gang all here. And then I just filled these back up with what they had. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So I hope that it was helpful to you to see some of these things come together and how I do that process. You can see it's fairly simple. If you have an idea, just do it and it can always be undone and you can figure it out. I will be showing more in the future of the other finishing touches that I have as well as a van tour coming up and I'm excited for all of that. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.